Well, especially we Germany, started right? in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Then we went down to the Harz region. Um, what is it, Sachsen? On health. Oh my God! I, know. Know. Uh, <laughs> I can't say it. Sexy, there were goats there. Sexy Saxony, um, and we were down there for Valspils, Fruitus, <laughs> Witch's Night, Witch's Night. Yeah. Uh, um, and and then we we went to London and back to Berlin. Did did this experience change your your or enrich, let's say, your your appreciation for art and history? You know, Europe. Europe you know, it, everything is beautiful, art is everywhere, and uh, I know it's changed me, how, how I see things. Did you have that kind of experience? Well, actually, this isn't the movie, but be part of being an actor that is one of the really fun parts is you get to go to places and stay there. You're not just going for two days in here and now we're on the... Tr you live in, for our case, six weeks in the middle of Germany. And I went to some of the most beautiful little museums and castles and medieval structures, because there's a lot, as you know, preservation. What's the society called that goes around Europe? Uh, it's got a name. It's, very, it's, it's a preservation society. And we went to a lot of places like that. That um, I don't know that it deepened my appreciation, but I sure had a lot of fun seeing things that I never would have seen before. For the movie, really, though, what I think it really taught us, first of all, we didn't know the story. You know, we, we, we didn't know that there were these specific guys whose job was such a specific thing to do in a war that you never would have thought to preserve stuff. You know, preserve, preserve buildings, steal back art that the Nazis had stolen. And, uh, and you know, I, I, I think us doing that, I don't know if it gave us, a, me anyway, a better appreciation of art, but it give, gave me a greater appreciation of these guys who went and did this thing. They were very unsung. People made fun of what they were doing. They were they, they actually thought it's so unimportant. People are dying. Why are you here? This was their contribution, and they did a, a really magnificent job. I mean, it's mind-boggling to me that these men actually literally risked their lives for art, just so that we could go to a museum one day, maybe, and, and have a, have a look at a picture. I can't imagine going to such lengths for something that you I love. To, can, because can it's you? not just. <coughs> For these particular works of art, it's it's Western civilization. It was the footprint of Western civilization was was in danger of being eradicated, being erased. Uh, it, it, you just can't allow that to happen. Was there any kind of for you, Bill? Was there any kind of personal resonance when you first read this story when George asked you to be in this movie? Did it mean anything to you, this story? <clears throat> well, it didn't have any, when, I, I guess I've known people that have had paintings stolen or robbed. I mean, I think of like Rothko, you know, was a man whose paintings were stolen from him and it, it certainly happened to painters before. I'd never heard of anything like, and I've heard of museums being robbed, but I've never heard of museums being looted. I've never heard of whole countries being just, 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 uh, gutted of all their stuff, of the, all their finest work, and taken by one group of people <laughs> with the intention of displaying it as theirs, as their, as theirs, their property, or destroyed in the event that they were defeated as an army. It's just, it, that, that resonates in a, in a kind of a horror way, the way like a, you read about a terrible murder in the paper, you just think, uh, it's too monstrous to consider, too monstrous.